Sean Tucker posted this video a while ago, and it really got me thinking as a new photographer just how much inspiration we take from others. There are lots of beginners out there trying to copy what they're doing so that they can learn. It only becomes annoying when more established photographers are trying to rip off your style as a shortcut to get similar sort of attention. Let's rewind a few years ago. It's late 2018, and I just used some of my student loans to purchase my first camera. Don't tell my wife. The Sony A6000. Now I did this for two reasons. One, Brandon Lee used it when making his films. The reasons I finally caved and bought a real camera for myself after being so inspired by his video work. And two, it was cheap. So naturally, the first thing I wanted to do was figure out how to use this thing. I didn't really know anything about photography outside of using my phone and really basic, simple edits, but I never even heard of the exposure triangle before. I needed a lot of help. I love the idea of making short films, which was the reasons behind my purchase, but I wanted to rekindle that love and interest I had for photography more than 15 years earlier as a kid, growing up watching my dad with his professional camera. Photography was going to be a great way to help me really learn my camera, but I needed some direction and I needed some help. One of the first photographers I found when searching for education on YouTube was Sean Tucker. He approached photography in a way that seemed different from the others that I saw. It wasn't necessarily about the coolest way to edit a photo with the most popular preset, rather he embraced those shadows and those highlights and the contrast between the two. He let what he captured do the talking and the coloring was just a way to give it a little bump at the end. And I knew that's how I wanted to approach my photography. I knew what he gave back on YouTube was going to be priceless to me. Then he came out with this. Is it okay to copy another photographer's work? And when does that stop becoming appropriate? I personally think that it's not only okay for beginner photographers to copy more established photographers, I think it's advisable when you're starting out. I mean, it's how we learn as human beings. We watch what someone else does, and then we try and imitate it and do it the same way that they're doing it. And personally, I don't know a single professional photographer who takes offense to the fact that there are lots of beginners out there trying to copy what they're doing so that they can learn. One of the things that I've always kept close to my chest was something that Hunter S. Thompson did as a young writer starting out. Coleslaw, a taco salad, right home, a snow cone, start snorting cocaine seriously, it says. <laughs> 10 p.m., cocaine and grass, 11.30, cocaine, etc., etc., 12.05 to 6 a.m., he writes. He said he rewrote some of the books of his favorite authors, a book like The Great Gatsby. He looked at each page and he copied it, the entire book, more than once. When asked why he did this, he said he wanted to know what it felt like to write a real masterpiece, to just get a feeling what it was like to write that way. And then a light bulb went off. After Sean's video was posted, I knew I had to challenge myself and see how close I could come to creating similar photos to those shooters I really look up to. I not only knew this would help me become more familiar with my gear and the process as a whole, but I also felt like it would really help me get in a different mindset and grow into an even better photographer altogether. So I combed through my favorite videos by Sean, but after remembering the video that he posted, I found the photo that I really wanted to try and recreate. So I went downstairs and set up in my basement, and I wanted to use what I had on hand. I didn't have the collapsible backdrop he used, but I had a seamless paper backdrop, and that was going to be good enough. For lighting, I used the Godox 8200. It's the only light I have, but I wanted to add a reflector that I had to help me tell a better story and fill in those shadows just a little bit to see if it would make a difference. I have a couple hoods and wanted to use them all to see what type of photo I could get from each, or if it even really mattered. But I knew I wanted to use a small lens hood, as Sean used one himself to help replicate what Rembrandt would see when painting his photo. That small concentrated light through the window, with the harsh highlights and the deep shadows. The camera I'm going to use is a7 III. This wasn't just an exercise to help me get similar looking stills and claim originality. This was a chance to learn what one of my favorite photographers was thinking when taking these same kind of photos. 
The photos themselves aren't too impressive, and I think that's the point here. It's really about achieving the best when doing the basics, and ultimately being able to inspire others to get out of their comfort zone and grow as an artist as well. And that's exactly what Sean did for me.